Welcome to the React Masterclass by My Project Ideas. I am Mohit, your tutor, and uh, in the previous tutorial, we have learned about the scope of the ReactJS course, and also we have explored some options like how to learn ReactJS the best way and why to learn the ReactJS. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn the difference between the JavaScript or vanilla JavaScript and ReactJS and we will compare both of them so these are the points we are going to cover like uh, what is the vanilla javascript second will be what is react js and third is advantages of the react over vanilla javascript and in the fourth point we will conclude all of the three points so let's just see what is the vanilla javascript vanilla is not a term for some other framework instead it represents plain JavaScript or the core JavaScript. Or you can say that the JavaScript in its purest form. So whenever somebody refers to the vanilla JavaScript, he is meaning that implementing the JavaScript directly attached to the HTML document. So without using any external library, implementing pure functions and manipulating document object model. So it is also a prerequisite for uh, jumping into the React JS. So make sure to learn that if you have not learned right now. So vanilla JavaScript can run in any browser, any sort of browser, or we can say that all sorts of modern browsers. We can do many complex tasks and things at the very root level of the projects, and we don't need to use any kind of external library. So that is the power of vanilla JavaScript. So both vanilla JavaScript and React.js can run on all sorts of modern browsers. So most famous of those browsers are Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, and Microsoft Edge. So majority of the br other browsers don't support some things, but these browsers are most widely used. Now let's just see what is React.js. React.js, on the other hand, is library of the functions called hooks which uses certain algorithms and comparisons within it it is used to make content rich complex durable and dynamic web application we will explore all of these terms one by one content rich mean you can embed the content websites like web pages and land landing page complex meaning like the complexity can go further manifold like uh, there can be multiple pages and multiple things that we are handling that can have states. Durable means like uh, React.js projects are robust and we have to write very less code. And dynamic means like it can handle the real time data too. So React.js uses a component based architecture. Please remember this point. This is the very important thing. It uses a component based architecture approach to make the component once and use it everywhere inside the project. So that is why that is the one most of the powerful reason why we use React.js. So there will be less code and more functionality. React.js is a JavaScript library, but more structured way. So you can use the JavaScript in a more structured way inside React.js. So Yes, because the React is built on the top of JavaScript or vanilla JavaScript, you can run to it can also run into all sorts of modern browsers that are available throughout. So here is the reference. You want to check, then you can check. So what are the advantages of a vanilla JavaScript? How is React superior? So for creating the simpler websites or web pages, we don't need React.js. Vanilla JavaScript is enough. But for making the complex web applications with multiple features and functionalities, we require React. So as you can already see, like uh, React is uh, introduced when the complexity is more. Otherwise, the vanilla JavaScript is enough. React makes it easy to write maintainable code. So the code can be maintainable. I mean, uh, uh, once you have written the code, it is also easy to understand and you can customize the code once and reflect it everywhere. We can also create the complex applications in vanilla JavaScript itself. 
but this can lead to the messy code situations and an unstructured project in the final on the other hand react provides a structure so that is also a bigger advantage of the react over the vanilla javascript it can provide a structure that's why it is easy to understand and one of the main advantage of the react js is we don't have to reinvent the wheel or any new feature because as i already mentioned in the previous tutorial like there is a large community of the react uh, on the internet so that's why we don't have to reinvent everything that we need uh, the chances are that that library is already there and we can use live that particular thing in form of a library and various features are already uploaded there and uh, the open source community around the react js uh, maintains them so i'm not discouraging the use of vanilla javascript here only explaining why the react is a better approach for the complex complex applications so vanilla javascript also come for its use cases and react js is also good for its own use case cases so let's conclude this using react js for building complex web page applications can be of the advantage over the vanilla javascript in the complex application so for much simpler use cases like building a the landing page vanilla javascript could be enough but the react provides us with a more structured way to make application so thank you till now in the next tutorial we will see how to set up the development environment for the react project and we will also write our first hello world program and then uh, we will also update some states inside the project